It's tax time in the cannabis industry. And for many new in the business, their IRS bill could leave them dazed and confused. Companies in our business are paying anywhere from 40, 50, 60, 70 percent, depending on what demographic they happen to be in. Even though marijuana is illegal at the federal level, the IRS still insists these companies pay income taxes. At the same time, the agency bars them from making most normal business deductions. You know, you could end up with a, a tax bill far more than, um, you know, any potential profit you could ever make. Jeremy Carr owns a dispensary in West Hollywood and said that could start to happen as legalization is bringing down prices and margins. I've seen the, the profit margins drop about 40 percent in the last five years. Here's the irony. The IRS does allow deductions for the costs of growing marijuana, but it does not allow deductions for the retail costs of selling it. Things like rent, advertising, payroll. You know, fortunately, the margins are there, at least in Northern California, where we operate. Derek Peterson left Wall Street to start TerraTech, a publicly traded holding company which owns a variety of cannabis companies, including the Bloom Dispensary in Oakland. But TerraTech also owns other companies which don't directly involve pot, like one which provides growing equipment or a firm which sells regular produce to retailers. He makes sure businesses are segregated in their tax reporting and puts as many costs as legally possible into areas where deductions are allowed. A lot of the business still is one leg in the black market. We're not able to do that because we're a publicly traded company and everything is everything's audited on an annual basis. But there's a lot of providers out there that are because of this headwind are still operating with one foot in the black market, one foot in the more overt and regulated market. Those trying to be legit accuse the IRS of hypocrisy. Tim Cullen owns the Colorado Harvest Company in Denver, which did about $10 million in sales in 2015. He says the lack of normal deductions will cost him a million and a half dollars more in taxes. If we're licensed and legal in Colorado, that should be good enough for the IRS, but they certainly cash our checks every month. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Los Angeles.